killed eight goats. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler talked to the 4-H members who care for the animals. Oh, there's always some risk when you're out in the canyon. 4-H member Madison Coda knows mountain lions are in Silverado Canyon, but she never dreamed one would break through this enclosure and kill her pygmy show goat along with seven others and seriously injure a ninth one. Monday night, Tanya Morgan says it only took a temporary opening in the bottom of this gate for the mountain lion to strike. This is the tiny excess. That's all he needed to get right on through. 4-H children caring for pigs in the neighboring enclosure made the gruesome discovery yesterday morning. He did not eat any of them, so we knew he would be coming back. The very next day, he did. This time, after a consultant for Fish and Wildlife installed six cameras. Sure enough, we have video. He came back last night, was here for an hour and a half, searching for a way in. Security tape shows the cat prowling near the pigs, safely protected in a reinforced enclosure. Andrew Krupnik, who lost his 14-month-old pygmy, he raised since birth, hopes the newly installed fox lights will scare off the mountain lion. And these lights, made to look like red eyes mimicking an animal staring back, will keep the cat away from animals and from he and his friends. It's very scary to know that something is here. We actually walked them down the road that way like two days before this and it was like we could have been being watched the whole time. At dawn when it's one child coming to feed the pigs for the group, it's very concerning. Our big thing is keeping the kids safe. We are still out here multiple times a day. Fish and Wildlife say they don't believe there's any real danger to humans from the mountain lions. They aren't actively hunting the animal, but they say they are supporting the security measures parents are taking.